Hello. So today I'm gonna make a review video about this app called Hitchhike Pen. You can install it on Google Play Store. So yeah, let's go. So right here I got my tab Samsung X6 Lite, the 2020 version. So actually, this was a recommendation from comment from subscriber itself. So. So you might have watched my video from last year which is how to solve a Huyun sketch problem. That was from last year so So I got a bunch of questions on the video asking it doesn't work how to update I cannot update it it just take me to the website and all those things. Let me tell you you can still use Huyun sketch but you gotta use HI Pen because HI Pen and Huion Sketch, the interface and everything looks similar. I can confirm that. <laughs> so you can install it. It is completely free. There is no payment or subscription. Oh my god, subscription needed to be paid. So just install it and use it. So from the review itself, you can see like there's others, Samsung's users and Android devices users, owners that use this app and they are quite satisfied with this app. And yeah, from the layout itself, you can see on the Google Play Store, it have like quite similar layout with the Procreate, which is for the iOS devices. So if you ever want to feel like how does it feel like to use procreate uh, but you don't have ios devices and you have android you might want to give this hi pen a try because i think it is completely worth it i'm gonna show you the best features that really mimics procreate i would say i would say for me so if you've been here for a while you know that my go-to digital drawing app for my tab samsung x6 slide i will be using infinite panther so this is a lifetime subscription that you only need to pay once for me it is i think it's around 10 ringgit or plus plus ringgit something around that it's not expensive and i think it's completely worth it so as I was recording the voiceover, I just realized I probably have been pronouncing this app wrong, incorrectly. It should have been high pen, I think, not HI pen. So we have here like settings if you want to enable the in-app cursor, but I don't think I want to use that. So there's this plus button right here where you can upload, uh, where you can add a new canvas or a folder. So we're gonna add new canvas, any sizes that you want. We're just gonna go with one by one. So I will go briefly about the app functions and features in this video. If you're interested in knowing more about this app, you can comment down below. And I might record, I might consider on making more videos explaining and teaching you guys about this app a little bit more so you can see here there's like adjustment for the size of the brush and also the opacity of the brush and then you can go to the three dots and go to the setting and i'm gonna enable the cursor the eyedropper and also the double tap undo so these are the brushes that i've tried out and i put it on favorites these four brushes that i think actually love them that is available on this app for free so we have here chalk and then right here we have fountain pen and the third one is the ballpoint pen which is quite basic brush i would say for line art and then we have medium charcoal as you can see i actually love brushes that have this tiny texture it just makes your art looks better so high pen actually have quite a few actually a lot of brushes that you can try for free in this app there's like brushes for painting but for me i think i'm not really satisfied with the quality of the brushes for painting the infinite painter one is better but that's probably all that i don't like about this app 
but this is actually quite impressive for an app that is completely free like stem brushes like cactus and then you can double tap with two fingers to undo or you can just use the eraser to erase the brush strokes if you have a pen i think you can use the button on a pen if you have a pen we have this like little buttons on the stylus where on infinite Panther it will actually activate the uh, features where it will change the brushes into the eraser or change the eraser to the brush so let's see if high pen actually support that features let's try it out as you can see this app didn't support that s pen features but that's completely completely okay as this is actually i think still under development apps we have the basic features on every drawing app which is layers the blend modes and all those making folders and all those things if you are into digital drawing and you will actually recognize these basic features here we have packet tool as i as i said this is the procreate for Android, this is why you can just drag this color to the canvas and it will color the strokes. This is probably the biggest pro in this app because these features of function didn't are not available on most drawing app like Infinite Panther, Medibang, Ibis Pen. So there's this function called create the perfect circle square. Or even a straight line at specific angle with another finger tap I never like and I can't I cannot make that perfect shape on this app I don't know maybe I'm just I did something wrong but these features are also available on infinite panther so this app also have like this stabilizer thingy if you ever wondering does it have like stabilizer or anything yes it does have stabilizer you can enable it or disable it so right now i'm gonna show you like the biggest major green flag in this app probably the animation function you can animate on high pen for free yes for free and these animation function are not available on infinite panther so this is this is why I love high pen. Just gonna make like quick sketch animation right here. There's some mini movement so you guys can see how it works. And next I'm gonna like teach you how to export the file. You can go to the the share icon and you can just PNG if it's a PNG file or JPEG. Or you also can like if you make an animation in this app you can export it either frame by frame as PNG or as a GIF file so this is how the GIF file will look like on your gallery so let me know in the comment if you guys want me to make more videos about this app maybe a more deep explanation or tutorial on how to use this app I might consider on doing that maybe if there's a lot of you guys that want to know so that's all for this video i'll see you again in the next video bye bye